The first bet that we're going to look at to price a product is the recommended retail price. And that comes down to the fact that a lot of businesses don't make their product, they buy it from another business or a supplier. So to use an example, Nike makes running shoes, so they would be a supplier. And Rebel Sport is a business which sells them. So we could say Rebel Sport then sells it to the customer. But for how much? Well, sometimes it's not actually Rebel Sport's decision. They might ask their manufacturer or supplier, how much should I sell the shoe for? And the uh, supplier will say, we recommend a price of $190 in this case. This is called the recommended retail price. So that's where the selling price of the product is set at the amount recommended by the manufacturer of the product. It's not mandatory to use the RRP, a lot of businesses do, and but basically they don't have to, and it's up to the business whether to use it or to set a different price. So some common examples are your footwear and clothing. Most clothing, if you look at the tag and footwear as well, you'll see a little RRP with the price. And also books, if you look at the back of book covers, you'll also see it says recommended price in Australia, for example.